Ukraine war, Russian missile strikes in Poltava kill 51, injure 235, says Kyiv. The death toll due to two Russian ballistic missiles striking the Ukrainian city of Poltava has killed 51 people and injured 235 others, the news agency Reuters reported on Tuesday, Sept 3, citing Ukrainian authorities. Earlier in the day, President Volodymyr Zelensky said that the missile struck a military training facility and a nearby hospital in Poltava. This is a stunning tragedy for all of Ukraine. The enemy hit an educational institution and a hospital, First Lady Zelenska said. A report by the news agency Associated Press said that this strike appeared to be one of the deadliest carried out by Russian forces since the war began on February 24, 2022. Poltava is located about 350 kilometers from Ukraine's capital city of Kyiv. The city is on the main highway and rail route between Kyiv and Ukraine's second largest city, Kharkiv, which is close to the Russian border. In a post on Telegram, President Zelensky said that people found themselves under the rubble, adding that many were saved. All necessary services are involved in the rescue operation. Zelensky said that the Ukrainian president also ordered a full and prompt investigation into what happened. According to the Ukrainian Defense Ministry, the missiles hit shortly after the air raid alert sounded when many people were on their way to a bomb shelter. Rescue crews and medics saved 25 people, 11 of them were dug out from the rubble, the ministry said. Need air defense systems, missiles now. Following the missile strikes, Zelensky also repeated his appeal for Ukraine's Western partners to ensure swift delivery of military aid. He has previously chided the United States and European countries for being slow to make good on their pledges of help. The Ukrainian president also wants them to ease restrictions on what Kyiv can target on Russian soil with the weapons they provide. Ukraine needs air defense systems and missiles now, not sitting in storage, Zelensky also said in the post on Telegram with inputs from agencies. Disclaimer, a number of claims and counterclaims are being made on Ukraine-Russia war on the ground and online. While Wyan takes utmost care to accurately and responsibly report ongoing developments, we cannot independently verify the authenticity of all statements, photos and videos.